All right, today I'd like to talk about um, turning in work via Google Classroom. And there's a number of different ways that this happens. Um, the biggest problem that I have is students will tell me, oh, I turned that in, I shared it with you. And as a teacher, I don't look in my shared stuff for assignments, I always look in Google Classroom for a student's work. So this is something you need to kind of be careful of and watch out for. So here's my Google Classroom that I'm a, a student in. And I wanna show you the couple different ways that um, assignments are turned in and attached to, ass attached to assignments. Um, so the first one is sometimes you get an assignment and the teacher already provides you with files to work on. So what happens is you open up an assignment by either clicking on the title or hitting the open button. And when it opens up, you see, oh, work from the teacher and there's my name on the front. So this is something the teacher has already added to the assignment. So I would just complete this work, click on it, fill it out, follow directions, do whatever it is that the teacher wants me to do. And then when I'm all done doing that work, it's just as simple as clicking, turn in, turn in, and I'm done with that assignment. Now, it's not always like that. Sometimes you have to create your own work in Google Classroom. So you would open the assignment, there's no work here, so you would go to create and then you would create whatever it is your teacher wants you to make, whether it's a doc, a slide, a sheet, a drawing, and you just click on that. And what's gonna happen when you hit create, sometimes it takes a second, but there it makes a document for me, creating work in classroom. So I open it up. Doo -doo -doo. Letting it load, okay. Um, here is my work, whatever it is that you have to do. And then, whoops, that a second there. Um, now I can go in and hit turn in when I'm all done. And it'll say, you wanna submit it? Yep, turn it in. And now that's done. So I created work right there in classroom. Now, the last thing, and this one tends to be the hardest for students, is that sometimes you click on classroom and you have to turn in work, and it's not work that you've created within Classroom, it's work that's already in your drive, and you have to add it. So you click on add, and you go look for where it is. Sometimes it's just a link to a website, sometimes it's a file in your downloads, um, but usually it's a file in Google Drive, I would say nine times out of 10. And if it's an assignment you were just working on, it's probably gonna show up under recent. If not, go to Drive and you can search for it. I'll click on turn this in. Now you gotta wait for it a second till it loads up, now you can go ahead and click turn in, turn in. So those are the three different ways that you turn in work to Google Classroom. If the teacher made it for you, you just complete it and turn it in. If the teacher needs you to create it right in Classroom, you can use create and make it right there. Or the last thing is to add work to Classroom and then turn it in. So hope you found that helpful and turn in your work.